Uh, guys, I'll be with you in just one second. So, Guillaume, uh, the end of, uh, at the end, the, the cue at the end is diamonds, okay? The word diamonds. But for right now, what I'd like to get is a humble chair with which to work. Maybe I could come up with something then. Oh, here's one. <laughs> Let's see what happens now. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. I'm Claudia O'Doherty. <laughs> I like chilling out, relaxing, and taking a load off. Nothing makes me happier than having a good old sit down. And nothing makes me sadder than an enthusiastic new small business that's using all the wrong fonts and you know is doomed to fail. <laughs> but that's by the by. I'm a stand-up comedian, technically. Uh, <laughs> But recently, I've diversified my horizons, and I'm thrilled to tell you who I've climbed into bed with. Tonight, everybody, I'm in bed with... The National Chair Association. <laughs> They're paying me $100 to talk about chairs. Okay, I've lost them. Cut the lights. Cut the lights. Seriously. Oh, my God! Has somebody cut the power? Yes, I have, because I'm mad and I have a gun. Get on the floor! Everybody, get on the floor! Empty your pockets! Your left pocket is full of what you thought you knew about chairs! Your right pocket is full of all of the hang-ups you've accumulated over your entire life! I'm putting all that stuff in the furnace! Ah! 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 That's what a furnace sounds like! Put the lights on again now, please. Hey. Um, don't resist the chair thing, everyone, because it is literally all I'm going to be talking about. Seriously. $100, though, that's pretty good. I mean, especially for me, because my money situation for a grown-up is really bad. It's really, it's very bad. Um, you know, and also a little secret about me is I really don't care about what I talk about up here, so it's possible I was going to end up talking about chairs anyway, although <laughs> I'm sure I wouldn't because chairs are boring, wonderful, exciting things that I couldn't be more thrilled to tell you about. All right, let's do this. <clears throat> Mamma mia, that's a good a chair, huh? That's what they said in the old country, back when ultra genius Leonardo da Cap Vinci invented the chair. I want a chair, I want a chair, I want a... Whoa, sorry, whoa. Sorry, everyone, whoa. Um, whoa, I've just had a flashback to one of the uh, most defining moments of my life. Normally, I keep it hidden deep down inside, but when it comes back, it really tosses me around like a rag doll. I'm going to take a seat and tell you about it. <laughs> Puberty is a really passionate time. When I was 16, I spent a summer in Venice learning opera. My teacher was a cruel Spaniard. In the rehearsal room, we fought like cats and more cats who hated the first group of cats. <laughs> but then on the eve of my departure, he invited me to meet him in a clearing in the Venetian woods. There, under the light of the Italian Luna, I watched him as he made love to a wolf. <laughs> Literally, he had sex with the wolf in front of me. It was magnificent. <laughs> but it might not have been. It could have been weird. But it wasn't because he had a chair. Um, <laughs> So what he did was he got the wolf and the wolf was on the, was on the chair and had its arms on the back of the chair and then its, its little legs were here. I mean, it was very... The wolf was here and he was there. It just worked because um, their genitals lined up. Chairs. Um, another, th another thing about chairs is that if you fall asleep on a chair, you uh, can't have a nightmare, probably. <laughs> I want a chair, I want a chair, I want a chair was the world's catchphrase for ages until things... <laughs> spun out of control. <laughs> the power of chairs! <clears throat> Uh-oh, someone's looking pretty cool right now. 
it's me because I'm sitting on this chair this way. Get this, everybody. I'm not actually wearing sunglasses at the moment. It's just that I look so cool sitting on this chair this way. Your brains have put them on my face. Watch. As I raise my torso, they will disappear. Chairs. Ooh, now I can feel you guys coming round to my way of thinking. And oh my God, it feels good. Feels like I'm being spooned by Victor Riley, president of the National Chair Association. <laughs> but don't you know, not everyone has always loved a chair. No. John Wayne, Gacy, the killer, <laughs> not the cowboy. Uh, O.J. Simpson and all of the Nazis from classical through to Neo. <laughs> they all prefer to stand. And hey, I don't want to ruffle any feathers here tonight in Montreal, but personally, I think all of those guys can fuck right off. <laughs> right? Frenzy, frenzy. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. So next time, <laughs> your friend mother or pal or somebody else you know but someone you know and you like invites you to go for a walk instead of having a good old sit down or buy a new sofa instead of getting just like four good chairs and putting them next to each other say what i'd like to say to hitler and his pals and tell them to fuck off but then apologize because this is someone you know and like and it's very rude and say i'm so sorry i would much prefer to take, take a, a load, load off on a chair. chair thank you and good night thank you <laughs> <laughs>